Welcome back to the channel guys. So today's video is going to be about React Navigation version 2. I've already covered the individual navigators in separate videos on my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can combine the various navigators into one app to create a solid navigation system. I'll also be introducing you to the Create Switch Navigator, which will help us set up our auth flow. So here in front of us, you can see we have the app open. We have two buttons. One is the sign in screen and one is the sign up screen. Clicking on the sign in screen button takes us to the sign in screen, which as you can notice is a stack navigator. Clicking on the sign in button in turn takes us into our app, which has a tab navigator in it. And here on top, we've also introduced the draw navigator. So you can click this button to open the draw navigator, or if you like, you can also swipe it out. Going into the settings and clicking on sign out, takes us back to our create switch navigator, which allows us to sign in or sign up again. So as we go along building this, it'll become more clearer to you. So without wasting any more time, let's begin. So here in front of me, I have an empty React Native project that I've opened up in Visual Studio Code. We're gonna start by installing our only dependency that we need for this video, and that is React Navigation. So we're gonna be running npm install React Navigation, and we'll go for version 2.0.1, which as of now is the latest version. So now we have our dependency installed, let me walk you through the structure that we're going to create. So at our root, we're going to have one navigator, which is the create switch navigator. The advantage of having this create switch navigator is that it only shows one screen at one time. If you remember, we used to use the stack navigator earlier. And after the user would log in, we would have to prevent the user from pressing the back button to go back to the login screen. Here, using the create switch navigator, there is no concept of the back button. You can navigate between screens, but you cannot go back to the previous screen. So in our create switch navigator, we have three main screens. The first screen is going to be the loading screen. The second one is going to be the authentication stack navigator. And the third one is going to be our app. So in the first screen, we'll check if the user is logged in or not. In our case, we're going to be using async storage to check if the user token is stored or not. If the user token is not stored, that means the user is not logged in. We'll move the user to our authentication stack navigator. In that navigator, we'll have one welcome screen, which will allow the user to either sign in or sign up. Depending on what the user clicks, the user will be taken to either a sign in screen or a sign up screen. If the user is already logged in, then the user will be taken directly to our app. Our app will be a draw navigator. And inside our draw navigator, we have a stack navigator as well as a tab navigator. I'll show you how we combine these together when we build it. For now, we know that we're going to be using all of the navigators together. 